Almost a year to the day after one of Austin's most controversial police shootings, allegations of a cover-up and new insight into exactly who was in charge of releasing information to the public. Austin police officer Leonardo Quintana shot and killed 18-year-old Nathaniel Sanders on May 11th of last year. And now, city officials and the district attorney's office are responding to secret parts of an independent review of the shooting leaked to two local newspaper reporters. KX and Shannon Wolfson live outside City Hall with these new developments. Robert, it is clear tonight not many people have seen this report in its entirety. According to the people who have seen it, it is not favorable to Officer Quintana. It shows he used excessive force and that his actions were reckless. A year ago tomorrow, Nathaniel Saunders was shot by Le Leonard Quintana. Eleven concerned citizens around a table in the lobby at City Hall. They didn't have certain information. The grand jury didn't have certain information. The discussion is focused on the contents of a report commissioned by the Citizens Review Panel, an independent investigation of the Nathaniel Sanders shooting. The whole point of the report was for the public. The public needed to know what really happened. Back in October, the city released a heavily redacted version of the report, citing a pending civil lawsuit and Quintana's rights under civil service law as the reasons for withholding many of the report's unfavorable findings. There were revelations in that report that many, many people feel uh, should have been out there. And at the very least, the city council, as the elected representatives of the people, should have had uh, much more ability to have access to some of these key conclusions. Here's who did have access to that full report. Chief Acevedo and internal affairs investigators, the city attorney's office, the police monitor and the citizens review panel, and city manager Mark Ott, who, according to his staff, was given the option of reading the report and declined, choosing instead to be briefed by Chief Acevedo. Why did they get to be the ones to make that decision? And was that decision appropriate? And is there going to be a need moving forward to re-examine that balance and to see if there are other people who need to be involved in oversight over such decisions? The mayor and the city council were not allowed to review the report, which finds Quintana may be criminally liable for Sanders' death, even though a grand jury declined to indict him. District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg says the report is just another There's opinion on the shooting and does not include any new evidence in the case. It looked to me as though they based their investigation on the same information that the grand jury had. Lemberg has not read the full report, but intends to review it if it's released, although she will likely not represent it to the grand jury. Now, according to city staff, the city attorney's office made the decision about what information would not be released from the public. They say they legally cannot release any information about unsubstantiated claims against Quintana. But the independent review of his actions in the Sanders shooting came out in October before the APD internal affairs investigation found he did not violate department policy. Now, you'll remember Quintana is no longer an Austin police officer. He was suspended for 15 days after the shooting for failing to turn on his camera. He was fired last week on an unrelated DWI charge. We're live at City Hall tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.